Hello Gang, welcome to the channel and finally I'm in the position of having Gang level 70 and showcase him even more. I mean the dude looks dope and his animation and everything. He feels like so cool and he's straight up from the comics. I mean the look he has looks like the movie one but he's straight up for the comics at the moment. I feel like this uh, way they're representing him it's from the comics and also the fact that he can all, only go through level 70 and he's a native tier 3 uh, it's gonna make me not use him or not, you know, showcase him for PV at the moment. I'm gonna go through PvP for him. I'm planning to go like 10, like against the top 10 of Vibranium and play some other world battle with him also because as it seems his real value is gonna end up being here or uh, at other world battle or else as a leadership for other characters. Feels like Jean Grey is going to be the outdated leadership right now for uh, at least the hero characters uh, because the hero characters need a leadership uh, that is not, you know, you know, Gore gives to villain, Thanos gives to villain. Most of the characters are giving to villains or have their self leadership like Carnage. So the only character to take advantage of leadership was characters like Silver Surfer, Sentry or uh, Jean Grey for the ones that it's, uh, you know, the, the hero ones. So now Kang feels like a better leadership than Jean Grey and of course with him you can go straight up PvP and not have to decide if you build your uh, Jean uh, a PvP version of here which in my opinion it's bad you should go full on PvE with Jean so you can do miracles with the CTP of Rage and also be good at PvP but now you don't have to use her at all because Kang can provide the leadership she had and also he can pull out himself some really good work i'm using i don't have his artifact and i'm using a mighty authority i did build him the first day like this and when he was level 60 but i was really unlucky with the, the universal book and after i took his potentials like three days ago and i managed inside three days get all the potentials the 30 was the four, first was uh, 47 the second was 68 and the other one was the 100 so yeah only three times and i had gunk after the fiasco of getting a universal book for more than one week so other than that uh, his cost whatever he cost you can find it into my live stream i'm gonna drop a link down below in the description or else you can find it it's a live stream called uh building gunk or how to build gunk something like this I'm gonna go through right now his uh, a, a video that I did to show the cost. The cost for the live stream was like 110 million to just do him a level 60. And now let's go fast forward to see what cost to go from level 60 to level 70. And the real cost there, I feel like it's the biometrics. So yeah, let's go into that. Okay, here, yeah, the moment that I unlocked the potential, actually, and I have 155 millions. As you can see, I used, uh, how it's called, uh, CCF, because I feel like CCF, uh, it's the one I'm not using at all right now. I'm using mostly, uh, you know, the EOD and TCP to do Awaken characters. The tier 3s that released is not that much, so yeah. But the crazy thing, as you can see, it's the biometrics. I'm going from level like 70, uh, 64 to 66, and I have to spend 1,000 biometrics per time. 1,000 was the previous, 1,190. 1, I feel like in total, perhaps it's like something like 6,000. Uh, for the biometrics you need for uh, his 60 to 70 and in the same time you can see my gold is going away really fast I had like 155 million and I have already spent nine here is five million for his upgrade and yes feels a lot look at this 1500 only from 68 to 70 this is madness pure madness and of course you have to do his gear and per time you do it's 120,000 gold so if you get unlucky on this and you get like 
30 roll or something you can bomb out all your ccf you know all, all your gold as you can see 28 dimes on his last gear was kind of brutal and yes let's fast forward a bit this part to see at the end how much gold i did actually spend okay the ccf feels like uh went 2000 less at the moment or 3000 with the ccf i spent to do uh 60 to 70 and yes 118 so i actually spent 40 millions 40 millions here so in total if i built if i spent for my kank 110 million to make him level 60 to fix his gears and stuff like that uh i spent like 110 million so 50 more it's like 160 in general 170 so if you start building kank you need to know that you need actually 170 million gold Okay, the other materials doesn't really count. I mean, you need something like 12,000 to 15,000 biometrics, in my opinion, or something close. And, and that's if you choose to spend biometrics instead of black antimatter. But in my case, I have way less black antimatter than uh, biometrics. But yes, that was about the cost. The cost is huge. It's the classic cost of every single tier, native tier 3 character. You know, the same cost is for Gore, Null, Mephisto. Uh, I can't remember anyone else. Yeah, that's all I think. So... Yes, let's go. And Sentry, yes, I just remember Sentry, the guy from the Epic Quest. So let's go into the actual gameplay and see what Kank, uh, how how Kank looks like actually against the top 10 teams for Timeline Battle. Of course, make sure that you have smashed the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, get all your notification, the awesome content we're dropping for shorts, videos, community posts polls whatever we do you want to hang out with us in our discord server also it's down below you can join get gbr carries rifts tokens earn coupons and stuff like that so yeah let's not delay it anymore and let's see what team i'm going to use with him and let's start with something like this his leadership and support of colossus with a ctp of insight one with pierce and hella in our team up so let's go fast forward into the top 10 of timeline battle and see uh what the enemies looks like so okay let's see the restrictions also i'm not sure if any of these characters is banned or something no they're not banned so that team feels legit and here is only uh villains actually you don't want to use this team against this team up i guess i could swap something like america chavez instead of hella because hella here has no advantage against these characters if you have hella in your team you want to do that because a lot of the enemy teams has superheroes like wolverine adam warlock or something like this that's why i have my hella there or else you could uh, you know utilize someone like america chavez or shuri okay this is not on auto play so i lost some hits here from my hella against hulk oh hella just killed hulk i don't even have a cd beyond here oh my god hella is back to the game bro <laughs> Yeah, she, she starts from other world battle, but these days feels like more and more people using it. I'm telling you. Okay, what's going on, bro? Where is Kang, bro? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna swap. I'm gonna play again and swap into Kang the first 10 seconds, I guess. Let's see here against Gore, the other native tier 3, what he's able to do. Of course, I have an extra 8 life here. Uh, but yes, look at this beautiful my iframes. I went away with that. Oh my god, that's a pretty fair fight. Of course, I have double support and he have only Shuri, but yeah. Gang bang there, bro. He he did it. Okay, let's save a bit time and let's play again the same thing, but swapping the supports in like first three seconds or five let's give my kank some time to go there and get his skills and let's swap into him right now okay this feels way more fair to be honest and hulk just killed me 
that's sad, but uh, you need to know the truth, you know? <laughs> I don't want to showcase a Kang that can do miracles or something, but I feel like he's a solid leadership. He can replace actually Jean Grey, and yes, he killed Hulk there. Let's see against Suri, okay. Uh, is Gore able to kill us? Actually, I'm not sure. Okay, we took a kill there. Solid killing Gore. Okay. Come on, come on, survive, bro. Survive. You can do that. Yes! Double kill on Gore, and I spent one life against Hulk, which is uh, fine, you know, Hulk is one shotting everyone. So let's go destroy us. Okay, ag again, villain. Mm, okay. Okay, let's go with this team up. Okay, I don't care. I know Hela is not working. So it's actually playing only with support of Colossus here against uh, Gore previously and against Hulk and now against Thanos. Let's see how this goes. And the enemy here got double DPS support. So he's gonna one shot me. I'm, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's see what Thanos is gonna be able to do to me. Okay, he did smash me badly. Let's see here. Am I able to do any damage at all? What's going on? Okay, that feels cool. I'm surviving a lot. Come on, bro. At least let me build my tier 3. I want to see tier 3 here. Oh! Almost dead. Oh, he did his tier 3. Ugh, that's ugly. Okay, okay. He's using double support and I'm using all in Colossus. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I know there is uh, teams that is not going to be that fair. And... Uh, phew. This feels like one of these teams. Again, I don't have advantage against Gore, but I have an advantage against Odin. But here it's uh, it's like we have the same buffs, you know? Colossus for Gore, Colossus for um, Kang. Let's see if I can take that down. Oh my god. I should swap. Okay. Let's see here. If he's going to kill me once, it's a lose for me. It's an L. If I lose at least one, it's an L. Okay. Okay, he can take me down, actually. If we have the same support with Gore, feels like it's fair fight. Previously, uh, the enemy didn't have Colossus support, so now he has. And feels like Gore, it's no joking, bro. This Gore got himself... Uh, okay, only... <laughs> <laughs> Colossus is killing uh, the enemy Gore. Chill, okay. So now Odin has no physical attack. There is no way I can go through him. I knew it. And that's the number three of Vibranium. Uh, the previous, uh, it was Omniman. The destroy, I'm not gonna say the rest. Gorilla and Twinlikin. Again, okay, you know what? I'm gonna swap into Suri also. Let's have let's be fair for my boy Kang. Uh, I know he's not gonna be the top of the meta or something, but at least let's give him the same opportunities here, you know? And that's the dude I was meant to fight. And let's see if I can take down a Thanos or at you know, I can take down tier 4 Hulk as it seems. Some gores. And let's see here uh, against Thanos. The previous Thanos destroyed me, but the previous Thanos was double supported and I had only Colossus. Uh, but now let's see, let's see what's going on to look like. Okay, both we have up our steel ability from Mighty Authority. Oh, almost. And he's not healing. As it seems, he just did his healing. Am I going to take him down? Come on. Give me that thing. Oh no, okay. As it seems, I can't actually kill Kang. Uh, kill Thanos with my Kang, basically. The next one, it's AP Toms. Okay, against same team. Okay, th this team feels really similar. Okay, this is a really nice one. Uh, okay, 
here I could have value using Hela to be honest because Hela is gonna get me an advantage against Spider-Man and Luke Cage uh, but still Spider-Man it's in the top of the meta always he's gonna be uh, as it seems so yeah let's check out what's my chances against Spider-Man am I going to die immediately or at least I'm going to survive oh I almost killed him oh I killed him nice nice and easy and now i should have no problemo they're both physical attackers and they have reflect but i'm an energy attacker energy damage dealing character basically yeah easy peasy easy peasy the next one as it seems oh yeah let's go baby carnage baby that's a cool team that's a cool team cheers i'm having some coke Okay, Agent Venom, bro. I'm using uh, that's exactly the team I'm using for timeline battle right now. And guys, Carnage, it's pretty solid in this meta. Carnage got an advantage. Okay, let's swap into Kang. We don't want our uh, Colossus to be there. Uh, so yes, we just killed the enemy Colossus. Let's see. Oh, I'm into my iframe and hiding from his fourth. Nice. Okay, I'm doing no damage as it seems. He has an egg also. I'm seeing the green buff there before, basically. Uh, but yes, let's figure out if I'm going to... Yeah, again, he got a brilliant or a mighty egg. And he's going really nice. He's not going to fall. He's not going to fall, yeah. He snapped me out of my existence. And yeah. My Colossus here come to take the control of the fight, but no. I can't reflect this dude. He's doing a lot of damage probably. So yeah, there's no point. Just die, bro. Oh, he's back. Okay, tier four, tier three, basically dead meat. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> I mean, we knew that. When you're seeing a native tier three coming, you're like... What I'm gonna do with him, you know? I have already my tier 4s. What's going on? Why they drop that? Why they don't give him level 80 or something? Uh, and let's fight this dude, you know? It's tier... Oh, not this one. Okay, this is scary. I want the one... Yeah, this is the TNT 97. He got so sweet teams and he's high on the ranking. He's top 20 most of the times and the teams he's using it's like tier 3 is level 18 most of the times. I guess he's playing really nice on manual and he's surviving. He's surviving and he's doing a lot of kills. But because of his tier 3s I wanna test my Kang against them. Uh, so yes, I double kill this gore easy peasy. Level 80 Spider-Man can actually one shot me. Or at least he's trying. Okay, I did kill him. And let's see for Thanos how it's gonna look like. Okay, bro. Okay, you need to kill this dude. Thanos is the enemy. Kill him. Oh my god. Even level 80 Thanos feels like... Like a titan in front of me. Come on. Come on, Kang. Do the killing. I mean, yes, the thing I said in the start that I believe he is, okay, I took the victory, uh, at least I can kill some level 80s with him, for sure. Uh, but yes, the thing I said in the start, you know, I feel like uh, the way he looks like to me is that uh, you need to use him for something like Alliance Kong, like, uh, Alliance Conquest, uh, something like uh, Alliance Tournament, uh, or use him as a leadership for your timeline battle or else, you know, here, other world battle, he signs. Let's use this team I'm using and let's see how he looks like against characters like Jean Grey. Uh, because in the Vibranium right now, C is banned, you can't see how he's performing against Jean Grey and I believe he's really awesome. Look at this, I just killed a tier 4 Jean Grey with my uh, Adam Warlock and my Kang, of course, Adam Warlock assist, but Kang survived all this fight and I just died with him, okay, I shouldn't talk about him like that because, uh, okay, yeah, mm -hmm. at level 60 he feels like he was better, you know, uh, 
Actually, this game mode just reset it for me and I didn't play it yesterday, I think, or something. So, yeah, the meta team is these characters, you know, uh, it's the Wolverine, Adam Warlock, Jean. And to be honest, I feel like he's replacing Jean from one way, uh, but from the other way, he's not better. He's not better than any tier 4 at the moment, I feel like. Perhaps he's, he can do, you know, Gore, he can do Hulk, he can do some lives of Wolverine and some lives of Adam Warlock. Uh, at least he, would, he was doing that as a level 60. But here you can see, he feels like he's dying really fast. Now I'm seeing, you know, uh, that's why I'm really low on my uh, other world battle score. I am only 3,400. And that's because the last hour I dropped him there to see how much victories I'm going to get from the defense. And you can see, after I swap him, I start dying a lot. So, yeah, as it seems... Okay, look at this. Attacks... Yeah. My stats with him feels bad. And I don't feel like worth, you know, building a team around him. Give, you know, more supports and get out some DPS to make him sign even more. I don't feel like... So yes, in my opinion, you know what? He is a character that cost 160 million gold. A bunch of materials, a bunch of tier 3 materials, a bunch of uh, biometrics, the CCF, all this stuff you need to spend for him. It's a, it's, it's a lot. It's the most expensive thing that you could get. And you can't really say that the value that I was mentioning before for leadership can, you know, you can say, I feel cool giving 160 million for this. If I was a player that I had like 200 million and I was thinking that if it's a good idea to invest on him for a solid unit for PvP, should, should I tell you to go and build him? No, bro, I'm not gonna tell you. There is multiple other tier 4 characters that gonna perform way better. And to be honest, tier 4 in a character, it's expensive from the tier 4 materials you have to spend. But from the other side, there is not that expensive cost, you know, of 160 millions or all these biometrics. You don't really need to spend a lot. Just your, do your character level 80, play on manual, and you can get better results from guys like Spider-Man, like Hulk on manual. He's gonna be way better. And to be honest, Kang, when I'm controlling him, he's even worse. On autoplay, at least, he has some potential. He's doing right rotation, you know. Uh, but the fact that he's not having super guard break immunity like Gore has gives him a disadvantage every single time he's going against characters like Jean uh, that can do you, you know, make you do this with your head where you're guard broken and you can't really use your skills. So the enemy is getting advantage every single time against you. So yeah, it's kind of weird playing with him on manual and on auto feels to be better as I mentioned. But still, I do believe that uh, buff Kang, hashtag buff Kang should be a thing. You know, I should drop it on my title also or something. But it's really, it's really something uh, developers should notice that this is like the, this is like disgusting paying all this gold spending all these materials and at the end of the day getting like this thing it's really disgusting people should uh you know shouldn't build them if you if you are a content creator or a guy that ha has already 250 characters you're gonna build it even if you see my review or not you know uh, but I'm talking about the guy that's looking to build one single character because he's lacking others and he has like two and he wants to make a third for a leadership or something. He's too expensive and he's giving back way less than other characters gives, to be honest. So yeah, buff Kang, make him usable somehow, guys. I mean, you have made all this stuff and you uh, you had him usable last week, spent, you know, banning all the characters. But now, I mean, yes, fast movement, it's a really good tag. Pure level, a really good tag. But no one is clearing with level 70 these days, World Boss Legend. So, no value at all for PvP, just the leadership for PvP. And what PvP, you know? I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I feel, you know, it feels like a fail. 
building him but in the same time i'm gonna i want to make sure that i'm gonna take the bullet for you guys and yes skip him at the moment let the developers buff him actually like they did with uh, gore and after take your time to build him when he's gonna have any value in the game because right now he's like b tire already and this is really weird this is really weird for a character of 2023 so yes that was it for me i hope you enjoyed see you into the next and kisses in your faces